Brought to you by Jaeger Public Adjusting, representing homeowners with fire, wind, or water damage. While the insurance company is looking out for their best interest, we're looking out for yours. When disaster strikes, call us, 609-425-1104. Well, look, guys, our weather whiplash continues. Yesterday, at this point, we were climbing into the lower to middle 60s. Right now, uh, I don't even want to look at the map. 30 in Hamilton, 31 in Mays Landing in Atlantic City and Tuckered in 30 in Trenton, 29 on the other side of Philadelphia in places like Doylestown, Norristown, and Media. 27, a cold spot all the way out in Chester County, Westchester. 31 in Dover, 33 in the Fortescue region, and the winds have generally shifted out of the north, supplying us with that fresh, cold air. Now, that cold air is going to be with us all day. What you see out there right now is pretty much what you're going to get for the remainder of the day. I think we have a chance of some wintry mix-type showers coming through sometime around, oh, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, but most of the day is dry. We will watch more organized precipitation get here late tonight, like after 7 or 8 o'clock. There is a concern for ice around I-95, 15 miles either side of it, extending down into Burlington and Gloucester, Camden, Salem counties where a glazing of ice is possible. This isn't a significant ice event for South Jersey, but you could have some travel hiccups late tonight and early tomorrow morning, but it's going to be a mainly rain thing south and east of Hamilton. If you're at the Barrier Islands, you're probably like, it's too warm for ice or snow or any of that. And you're absolutely right, not expecting any issues in many locations. So here you have that chance of some scattered showers coming through, but most of the day is just cloudy, dull, boring, all that kind of stuff. And then here comes the main event later on tonight. You see exactly where that pink is. Trenton, Philadelphia, creeping down into portions of South Jersey. That's where a glazing of ice is possible. Even some snow all the way up in central Pennsylvania, the Pocono Mountains. Three, four, five inches of snow can't be ruled out. Everybody turns warmer tomorrow morning. The system gets overwhelmed with that oceanic influence. Temperatures come up into the 40s and we're just uh, plain old rain by the time we wake up and then the system tries to back on out of here sometime around the noon hour with sunshine coming back in the afternoon. So this is what we're looking at in terms of ice accretion. Doesn't look like a whole lot. I get that. A quarter of an inch of rain means nothing. But you get a quarter inch of ice and all of a sudden you have vehicles sliding all over the place. This model wants to put about two tenths of an inch of ice in Philadelphia, about four tenths of an inch in Allentown, the Pocono Mountains, and then you got snow on top of that. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this all plays out. But for South Jersey, on a scale of one to five, this is like a one and a half. Overcast with the mix coming our way tonight, 30 mainland, 33 at the beaches, east northeast winds at a few miles an hour going into tomorrow. We start off rainy, but I think in the afternoon, we'll actually try to break out in the partly sunny skies and the temperatures will be rising into the upper 40s. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast and you'll see that we have a little bit of everything for everybody. This is a true example of a March weather pattern where we're up and down and all around. Looks like we'll start to moderate again by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.